Thank you for undertaking this journey of watching this series of videos and we hope that we have enjoyed watching them and have learned something about what goes into making this program a success. Uh, we have to also acknowledge that this program has only got off the ground because of several um, sustained efforts of funding to initiate the program. So the Grawin and Lightning Ridge uh, Miners Associations were very instrumental in getting uh, the program off the ground in the early, early days. Uh, we've also had generous uh, funding from the New South Wales government through the Weed Action Program. We've had two rounds of rural R&D for profit funding through federal government, which has been instrumental in driving the research behind uh, the biocontrol components of uh, managing Hudson Pear. This research has only been possible because of interstate collaboration between Queensland and New South Wales which facilitated uh, the critical sourcing of the agents in Mexico and the ultimate testing and uh, um, pairing of the most suitable lineages of the cochineal for targeting Hudson pear. This research is vital uh, in feeding into the Hudson pear management plan, without which we wouldn't have a strong integrated approach to maximize our on-ground uh, impact on Hudson pear, stopping it from becoming the next prickly pear uh, in the future. So as the Northwest Cacti Control Coordinator, um, we've really been able to engage the community and get them involved in the whole program. Um, and, and one of those things has been the Hudson Pear fact sheets, the biocontrol fact sheets, and even these YouTube videos. So we've had some fantastic uh, feedback on people being quite responsive to the actions that have been going on on ground and the volunteers that we've had um, really working hard around the extremities of the infestation to push it back and to keep it where it is. So at the start of the Release the Hounds program we got some community feedback on how we could help uh, the community in their integrated control programs and, and something that did come back was the fact that the community needed a little bit of help, a little bit of guidance on chemical spraying. So we've been able to fund and hold uh, a, a range of AQF3 chemical accreditation trainings, which has had a fantastic uptake. Um, and through these programs, we've also been able to educate and create awareness around Hudson Pear um, for, for local community, um, so the, the mining associations, as well as landholders. Really appreciate all the involvement that the community has had and the participation, particularly through all the workshops that we've put on as well. So we are, we are very grateful and we are very thankful. So this is Dave and this is Andy and I'm Matt. We're the Biosecurity Weeds Officers for Walgut Shire Council. Uh, we tend to the day-to-day -day running of this bio facility, uh, checking up on the health of the colony, uh, keeping the collections going and the releases going. We're also here to help the local community with advice of the best integrated approach to take care of our Hudson Pear pro problem using both chemical and the biological control. So up to date we've already released a lot of the biocontrol out into the landscape and it is making a difference. It is slow going but we ask that everybody groups together and gives us a hand to do this as is a massive problem and there's only three of us. Uh, the community response so far has been great but the more people that can help out with this problem the better. G'day, I'm Pete Dawson, Regional Weed Coordinator for the North West Local Land Services. The series of videos you've been watching on releasing the hounds on Hudson Pear has been focusing on integrated control techniques and measures that you can implement out there on your property, particularly incorporating the new biocontrol agent that's now available for release. This program has been the culmination of decades worth of research and dedication from a whole raft of industry players, community representatives and individuals. So, where to from here? Well, it's not a wrap, folks. Modelling shows that Hudson Pear has the potential to cover over 600,000 hectares just in the northwest LOS region, or over 112 million hectares across Australia if left unchecked. In order to continue to tackle the Hudson Pear menace, local communities, industry groups and government agencies are going to have to continue to work together in collaboration to get on top of this thing. And that's going to take a shared knowledge of the problem, respect and commitment, and determination to make long-term change. It's also going to require continuity of funding going forward 
to implement local on ground control programs, monitoring programs and coordination programs. Programs like this cannot be delivered without the ongoing support of our peak funding bodies and we thank them for that. The Releasing the Hounds project on Hudson Pier is an integrated community biocontrol program and it couldn't have been possible without strong collaboration between New South Wales Department of Primary Industries, Northwest Local Land Services and the Northern Slopes Land Care Association, particularly thanks for the funding that's been provided through the Department of Planning, Industry and Environment. So on behalf of the team, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that's been involved in this program, uh, the members of the Northwest Hudson Pair Task Force, uh, particularly the weeds officers from Castle Ray Macquarie County Council, and the local communities and, and landholders across Northwest local land services that have assisted with this program and are really getting involved in it. If you've got challenges with managing Hudson Pear or need to know more about it, jump on the New South Wales DPI Weedwise website or touch base with your local weeds uh, officer or your local council weeds officer. So stay safe out there folks, have a great day, cheers.